Okay, now it's my turn, right? Third paragraph. Mm -hmm. Look once again upon your enemy, the one you chose to hate instead of love. For thus was hatred born into the world, and thus the rule of fear established there. Now hear God speak to you through him who is his voice and yours as well, reminding you that it is not your will to hate and be a prisoner to fear, a slave to death, a little creature with a little life. Your will is boundless. It is not your will that it be bound. What lies in you has joined with God himself in all creation's birth. Remember him who has created you and through your will created everything. No one, not one created thing, but gives you thanks, for it is by your will that it was born. No light of heaven shines except for you, for it was set in heaven by your will. What does that mean? It means we're bigger than we think we are. <laughs> <laughs> no My, light of heaven shines except for you, for it was set in heaven by your will. Is that like all of us? We all are all that incredible. Everybody in the whole world, mm -hmm. we're as one. And part of God are incredible. Incredibly powerful, incredibly loving, and incredible. That's the truth. And we've got this little idea of ourselves. And that's what we're protecting because the ego says he's our friend. <laughs> <laughs> God telling us, and we're going, no, go away, don't tell me about that. <laughs> Would you say, uh, isn't that incredible? And it, so I can't understand that because it's way beyond my understanding. That's why he says, you need the Holy Spirit to tell you who you are. You don't remember, and you don't believe in it. And God loves you way more than you'll ever love yourself. So he is not your enemy. He is your friend. He's trying to wake you up to something you just can't comprehend because you've forgotten it completely in your dreams of fear and hatred.